Hello guys, welcome back to the Trio Tips and in this video we're gonna talk about how to fix Hunt Showdown is crashing, not launching, freezing, black screen, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and all these kind of issue and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into it. So if you're for the first time, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more videos. So first thing what you have to do is just have to restart your PC. For that you just have to go over here in the start. Now go to this icon over here and go for restart. After doing a simple restart, see whether it's going to fix the issue. And most probably it will not be fixing, but even you can try. Because sometimes for some people this has worked. So next step is all about you have to allow the game exe file to window security. For that you just have to go over here. Go to control panel, you have to search and go over here at the bottom. That is Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here go at the top on the left. That is allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here you have to check whether Hunt Showdown is already added. So hence it is alphabet, you just have to scroll down and navigate to H and from here you have to see that is Hunt Showdown is already added. So it is quite important as well to make sure that both private and public should be checked. It should not be unchecked, it should be checked. And once after that click on hello another app. Now go to browse. Now from here go to this PC. And you have to open local to see now from here you have to scroll down and navigate to program file x86 scroll down and navigate to steam folder now go to steam apps now go to common now from here scroll down and navigate to hunt showdown now from here as you can see you have to select the respective one or most probably uh, this is the file okay so you have to select go to win 64 now go to hunt game over here select this and if i add this i'll be getting an error but it's not there it's game so just add add the game hunt short short one should be added and as you can see these both things should be checked it should not be unchecked it should be checked once it is done just close everything try to play the game and you can see the differences and even if it's not working we have to move to the next one that is all about you have to install graphics card manually for that just go over here now I'll be providing link in the description for for both Nvidia as well as for the AMD. So Nvidia users, you just you will be landing to this page when you click on the link. And now from here you have to select the product type. So you'll be getting many options. Select the respective product type. Select the respective series. We are having plenty of. Select the respective one. Go for the product type. So here it is minus four zero nine zero. Go for operating system. That is Windows. In my case, it is Windows eleven. So go for it. If you're on Windows 10, go for the respective one. And once it is done, just go for search. And now you are getting the latest version that the version is 527.56. And it was released on 12th December, which is latest one. So it is around 813.49 MB. Just download and install the .exe. Once after downloading and installing the .exe, restart the PC, then try to play the game. If you're on the AMD, select the graphics card like this. Go for everything over here and submit once you've done, done with submit you'll be getting an option if you're on windows 11 select this one download this one the adrenaline version if you're on windows 10 you have to select the respective and download this one and once it is done try to play the game and you can see the differences and if it's not working then we just have to move to the next one that is all about you have to install microsoft visual c plus plus so over here you have to go to the link i'll be providing in the description from here we have two options x64 or x86 See, if you don't know to which one is yours, you can uh, know that. Just go over here in the search and go to settings. From here, select the system at the top left and scroll down and navigate to about. From here, what you have to do is you can under system type. As you can see, this is 64-bit operating system based on 64-based uh, processor. So you just have to download this one. After downloading this, install the respective one. And once after installing, try to play the game and you can see the differences. And even if it's still not working, we have to move to the next one. That is all about you have to run the game from the run the game from the installation folder as well as you have to run the game as administrator. So these two steps i'm showing you because these two steps can be done from one place so the thing is you have to navigate to where the game is installed i mean the path i mean the folder so it is very easily you can navigate to from the steam so right click over here go to properties go to local file click on browse so this will take you to the folder where the game is installed as you can see this pc local to c program file 86 steam steam apps common hunt showdown so from here you have to select the respective folder, right click and go to show more options, go to properties, go to compatibility. Now click on run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for ok. 
So check if it's going to work or not. And the next step, which I said, I clipped two steps because I can show you that from the one place itself. That is all about you have to launch the game from installation folder. So when you're trying to launch the game from Steam, it is not actually launching the game from installation folder. That is completely different. For that, right now we are already in the installation folder, right? As you can see at the top. So try to play game from here itself open this so that game will be running and you can see the differences and sometimes it might be helping guys out so you have to try this moving to the next one is all about you have to do is you just have to run the game on dedicated graphics card for that you just have to go over here so uh, just go over here in the search go for graphics settings now from here you have to click on browse so from here you just have to go to this pc now go to local disk C, now scroll down and navigate to program file x86, scroll down and navigate to steam folder. Now open steam apps, go to common, now from here and showdown is here, open this and go for this one add it. So once it is successfully added, once it is successfully added, so what you have to do is you just have to make a few change, that is, uh, sorry, uh, where is it, uh, this is not the same. Uh, dark cry divide now dark fortress okay i think this is okay hunt showdown so as you can see just click on the option now as you can see the graphic preference by windows is doing one thing by default that is let windows decide so this is the reason why many users are having the graphic issue i mean uh, crashing issue so always change this to high performance that means you are giving the maximum to nvidia your graphics card so that you will not be having the issue so just save it and try to play the game this particular step can fix crashing issue most probably and uh, i can guarantee you that but even if it's not working just follow the next step Next step is all about you have to disable steam overlay and overclocking application. For that you just have to select the hunt showdown, go for properties, under general you can see enable the steam overlay while in game. So here I have unchecked this. So this is what it's called disabling the steam overlay. Regarding the overclocking applications what you have to do is just have to uh, end the task for every apps like discord, uh, gaming services and many other antivirus etc which is running in the background. So that just go over here in the task manager over here so sorry start then go to task manager now as you can see these things are i'm using right now but apart from that there are 51 apps which is running in my background right all these things are draining out my performance so i'm having 32 gb of ram so it's not an issue for me but for those who are trying to play the game like this with 2 gb 4 gb you know they will be having a very uh, bad situation so what they have to do is just have to right click go for end task do the same for everything, especially Discord, LG Hub, gaming services, Xbox services, everything you have to end the task. Once you're done with, uh, done with this, all these things, you just have to close everything, then try to play the game. Even if it's still not working, the next is all about you have to perform a clean boot. For that, just go over here in the search and go to system configuration and go to services. And over here, as you can see, you have to disable all and go for hide all Microsoft services and go for apply and go for OK. When you do this, you'll be getting a question like this. You have to go for restart for you guys have to go for restart here. Uh, I'm skipping this because in the middle of video, so I don't want to extend this uh, for unwanted things. So I'm going with exit without restart, but for you guys, you have to go for restart you have to do a restart then try to play the game moving to the next one is all about you have to verify integrity of game file for that you just have to select the respective one right click and go to properties now go to local file click on verify integrity of game file so this is going to take a little bit of time like i said this particular step can fix a lot of issue like if any files are missed if any files are corrupted if any files are having any other issue all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step this is very important step you have to try out once you're done with this try to go for the next one that is all about you have to update your windows to the latest version when you're trying to play the game like hunt showdown which is actually requires a lot of graphics and it is having around 15 gb memory is needed when you're trying to install the game for these kind of game you should be running in the latest version of windows for that just go over here go to windows update on the bottom left and as you can see i am on i am up to date for my windows are updated so what you have to do is you have to check simultaneously and make sure that you are on the latest versions or else if you're running in the older versions of windows definitely you will be having a lot of issues so make sure you're on the latest version 
and uh, moving to the next one is all about you have to disconnect everything from your usb ports for example if you're trying to using multiple monitors you are, you are already connected with the logitech uh, you know wheels etc on your pc or laptop and already you are connected your usb ports are filled with controllers and all those things then eject everything eject everything means remove everything once you remove it try to launch the game once the game is working fine if you wanted to play with controllers then connect it back this is very important step this particular step has worked for many of the users so you can try this out this is worked and helped many of the users try the same and this is going to work moving to the next one is all about you have to give a uh, launch options in the uh, you have to give commands in the launch option for that just select the game right click and go to properties over here general there is under general option you have to give the command that is dx11 you can try this if it's not working change this to dx12 if with both the thing you give both commands and it's not working remove everything okay should not keep any command that can make a lot of uh, issues just remove everything next one is all about you have to uninstall and reinstall the game for that you just have to go over here select the game go to manage uninstall the game after that reinstalling back but keep in mind when you're reinstalling back it should not be on local disc c it can be any other disc it should, it should not be on local disc c you can try with any other drive uh, i mean local disc d e f etc so that this particular step has worked for many of the users and last and the least one is all about you have to increase virtual memory for that you just have to go over here in the search go for view advanced system settings now from here go to settings go for advanced go for uh, change now over here over here under virtual memory you have to uncheck this box it should not be select if you if you check this you can't select the local disk so you have to uncheck this and select the lo local disk where the game is installed so in my case it is local disk c so that's why i selected this so if your case you are having multiple disk and the game is installed on d then select the uh, appropriate one once it is done just go for custom size here we have to give a value so that is we have to give initial size and maximum size so we have to do a calculation and initial size is always 1.5 times the total ram and maximum size is always three three times the total ram for that just go over here in the search now go to settings now from here go to uh, over here on a system over at the top now scroll down and navigate about from here it is visible that minus 32 gb okay so i have to do calculation based on this go for a calculator so i have to give first initial value so i have to multiply 32 into 1024 that is doing the conversion and you have to multiply it this with 1.5 times that is 49152 so i have to paste it and moving to the next one is all about i have to do the conversion that is 32 gb 1024 then i have to multiply it with 3 that is 98304 i have to copy this i have to paste it then go for ok then try to play the game and once you're done with this do a restart try to play the game and after that most probably after trying these steps the hunt showdown crashing at startup won't launch freezing and stuttering not launching black screen low fps drop stuck on loaded screen and all these kind of issues will be completely fixed and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out bye 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 bye